Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show how you can use an object created with Imagery 3D and actually flatten them and make them real usable uh, for printable objects and some other stuff. So let's get started. So I'll take, for the first example, I'll take here I have a basket, looks like quite a nice basket, and I'll import that create Imagery 3D. So initially this creates something like this, just engraved but I want actually to create a hall. So I'm gonna see how much it works and 0.9 is working. If this works, you never wanna do it less because it may create some halls and, and not work as expected. So if 9, 0.9 works, then let's finalize it. So this looks quite good as far as the structure, but if you look at it, it's really choppy and it's kind of like you have the image pixels uh, choppy. So I want to have this flat so I can later use it. So there's actually a few ways I can do that. So the way I'm going to first demonstrate is going to use a nice trick that very few people know could be used. So we're going to rotate this object to 90 degree on my x-axis over here x. If I need to rotate it on 90, I can do I guess 90 or negative 90. I'm not sure if it makes a big difference. Um, so I'm rotating it at this point like this. And I'm going to enter my freehand drawing. In the freehand drawing, we have a very interesting option that you can drag and drop anything from here. And it actually adds it. Look how nice this is being added. So this is, has already been added, but it's not finished yet because we need to have holes and I need to wait until this turns red. So actually it creates, we know it detected the holes and it creates the holes. So this may take a minute, it's done. So I finalize it. So now you see we got this object out and if you could compare, this has like 1100, almost 1200 um, polygons. And if you compare it to this one, it has like uh, 30,000, so almost 31,000. So that's a huge, huge difference. So now I'm going to delete this old object, and I'll start working with this object, which is relatively nice. I'm going to rotate it again back to my original position. It's selected first, and I'm rotating it again to around my X by 90 degree. So, oops, I'm sorry, what did I, I went to my move tool. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I go to my rotate tool around X. 90 uh, okay I should have done it the other way around so now I stand it ahead okay so now I have it like this so I'm going to center this I moved the mistake away I need to center the object um, I like to center by double clicking on the move you can the same thing open and click center over here this basically centers the object and I need to center that uh, I need to scale it actually I should have scaled it first um, I want to make this to be instead of 20 I want to make this uh, 200 to be a nice large basket um, I think this kept the center actually see because it was set to symmetric so yeah it kept the center I didn't need to move it again so now I'm gonna add a cube over here and I'm going to unhide you can click over here the default will unhide all objects or in this case I have only one object I can even click over here to unhide them so I see what I'm doing you can see it already it remembers the parameters I entered before. It already remembered everything. In this case, I just eyeballed it um, where I want this hole to be cut out for the basket. Uh, one thing is important that I entered over here the Y10 because I wanted to keep the distance over here. So I needed to put it higher a little bit because I'm going to use this to cut out the place. So now if I'm satisfied with this, I simply select these two things and I go to Stitch and Scoop and I subtract the uh, cube. So I'm subtracting this part and I finalize it and here you go. You have your, uh, you know, relatively nice basket that is ready to 3D print. So now let's show another way that you can actually do it. So I've shown you one way and I started saying there's another way. Um, so let's start actually with a different object, a more industrial type of design object. So, and I demonstrate a different use case. So I'll go now to the same thing, image 3D. I'm going to select at this point, I'm going to select a door. So I have some relatively nice door. In this case, the cutout, my parameters from before is not good. So even 0.9 is not good. So I need to fill it completely. And then I'll need to worry myself how to remove the, the inside. So that could be done in many ways. I can start by simply removing clicking on the polygons and start selecting each of them and deleting them deleting the back and cleaning up it could be done it may take uh, two three minutes to clean it up but my problem is also that this is very choppy again this door over here it's very choppy so in this case i can 
delete and then drag and drop to the uh, to the drawing the way I did it before but I'm trying now I'll show the other way that it's actually much easier so before before I try I want to say I'm in polygon selection mode so I can select anything that is flat regardless how many detailed faces it has if you see for example over here this has a lot of detailed faces almost even past I have to zoom in to see it how small it is but if it's on polygon mode it will start selecting but it comes over here this has a lot of small face even polygons wouldn't do it I can technically start playing and set my tolerance over here and, and start doing a little more but still this this wouldn't solve it because it's still not flat and it's still some issues so the problem is back what I started that I need to have this flat so in this case I'll turn off actually the selection will have the entire object selected and I'm gonna go to a new beautiful tool that was added which is called flatten I'm simply gonna move this negative a little bit let's say a negative four negative four I think should do it so you can already see that this is kind of flat and now we can test I'll go to my polygon selection and look how beautiful this selects everything so I'm simply gonna copy this uh, I'm gonna click over here to copy or command C and you have this copied this object so I'm going to inverse select to delete my other object my original object and I have only this object let's actually flatten it uh, oops I have to select it first let's position it over here and I'm going to simply extrude that a little bit so I'm going to add some thickness to it because I selected only one polygon this has no volume at this moment so I need to add some thickness to it to be able to use it so I'm going to add extrusion and I have it set at 10 I think that's fine so now here you go here you have your object and it's relatively fine you may need to before 3d printing to make it perfect you may need to do a magic fix on it um, but that's relatively fine obviously that still has some details uh, we are going to improve the anti-aliasing uh, I, I think at this point I didn't even check that but in general the anti-aliasing is going to be improved so we shouldn't have these issues but maybe I'll do another video actually how you can technically draw this uh, it's actually to draw this on self-cut using the drawings it may even be faster and simpler than, than doing what I just did but nevertheless this is a cool way of doing things and I wanted to show two different ways to flatten objects and convert objects into real I hope you like it if you want me to do more videos like this uh, please like and subscribe uh, thank you for watching bye